Coming up on Metrofile this week, we go to Wari in Delta State to celebrate one year coronation anniversary of the Olu of Wari, His Royal Majesty, Ogiame Atuashi III. <laughs> Happy 70th birthday to a renowned journalist, Mr. Mike Awoyifa. Plus, celebrating a decade in banking, board of directors of Jai's Bank hosts their friends and customers in Abuja. Okay, we are back like we never left, this time with more interesting stuff for you on this last edition of the show in the month of August. Now we will be in Delta State, Lagos, and of course Abuja. So you don't want to miss any of it. Just relax and let's take you on this ride together in about 30 minutes, shall we? We can do watch out for sensitive images while we do that. Once again, welcome to the program. I am Oge Chikwasi Oyeludi. All right, our first stop is in Delta State, South South Nigeria, all for the Olu of Wari, Ogiame Atuashe III. Precisely the 21st of August 2021, Ishakiri's sons and daughters witnessed a new dawn in the kingdom, the coronation of the 21st Olu of Wari in a beautiful and colorful ceremony that captured the attention of the whole world. One year on, the people say his reign has fostered unity and rekindled hope for prosperity in Iwere land. Again, the sons and daughters of the kingdom gathered again in Wari and Ode Shekiri, their central home, to celebrate one year coronation anniversary of their revered king, His Royal Majesty Ogiame Atuashe III. The mood here is a bit similar to that of 12 months ago, bringing back beautiful memories of August 21st, 2021. <laughs> The people here in Ode Shekiri Delta State are all dressed up. The riverine community comes alive. They are ready to celebrate with their king. The beauty of Ishekiri culture lights up the street as did the commercial aspect of the celebration get a boost. The high chiefs of the community arrived, and then a little display on the sea, an indication that the arrival of His Royal Majesty, Ogiame Atuashe III, is next. Touched down his ancestral home, Ode Shekiri, takes a walk to the palace while acknowledging chairs from his subjects. We are grateful to God 
for giving us a dynamic king, a well-knowledgeable king, a jet age king. And we are very optimistic as a people, as a nation, that the king is going to propel the Shekri nation to a very, very higher height. He has visited almost all the communities in Worry North, Worry South, and Worry Southwest. And visiting them too, he didn't just go there and just ordinary visitation. He has left a landmark, especially on medical, you know, uh, medical outreach. Even the wife is not left out. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the main hall, guests are seated, entertained by Omadino people, one of the oldest Shakiri community, while they await the king's arrival. And then they welcome into the hall His Majesty Ogyame Atuashe III and Olori Atuashe III. Olori Atuashe III opened the way for the chiefs princes, Catholic church community, as well as other members to pay homage. this last one year, I would say that we didn't make a mistake by putting, me, putting him on the throne. The Shakiri people selected and put him on the throne and he has not disappointed the people. <laughs> Joining them at the occasion is the Dane of Agba Kingdom, His Royal Majesty, Benjamin Ikenchiku Kyagbekuze I, and the Emir of Kano, Aminu Adubayeru. Ogiyame acknowledged all the different communities that paid homage as the cultural day comes to an end. I'm here to celebrate with him with my brother, the Emir of Kano. We've watched him, we're very, very proud of him. He's doing an amazing job for himself, his people and actually the country. I want his reign to be peaceful. I want him to believe a legacy that everybody will say, uh, we thank God we have a leader who has led us by example. The next day, they continued the celebration at the palace in Wari with a special Thanksgiving service.
Also joining them here at the service is the king's mother, Iye Ulu Atuwashe III, the host governor and PDP vice presidential candidate, Senator Ifani Okowa, Deputy Senate President Ovio Omoagigi, former governor of Delta State, Chief James Ibori, Pastor Ayo Orisha Jafo, as well as other very important guests. Thanksgiving, we can't get into them. But if you read 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 15, the Bible tells us that your thanksgiving will produce grace. And then the royal family danced forward for the special Thanksgiving. He's not just a king for the high and mighty, he's a king for everyone. His hands and his heart touches everyone. He is a Christian to the core. He is also a culturalist to the core. After the Thanksgiving service, there was a little reception where the members of the community continued to pay homage to their king. We give thanks to God Almighty for what has been an amazing year. Every moment, the highs and the lows, God has shown his faithfulness and we remain encouraged and resolute that he is the one charting our course and we shall surely get to our destination. But in a bid to make that journey, that journey, we need to make the journey to the destination smoother. We must be prepared to meet the opportune moments so that we are successful. We must be prepared to move from an entitlement mindset to a faith and works mindset. We would prefer if we could choose that breakthrough and progress meets us while we are standing still. For His Royal Majesty, Ogiame Atuwashi III, the time to dwell on the problems of the community are long gone, adding that his Shekiri sons and daughters, home and abroad, must come together for greater development of their kingdom. <laughs>